Hi, friends. I'm Christiana Gaudet. I am live on my Facebook business page. If you're watching an archive on YouTube, Facebook, or my website, thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is something we do every Monday. It's the three card weekly reading where I pull three cards for the collective to see what energies will be with us all this week. And then for the people who are live in the room, I pull individual cards for the week ahead. So as people start coming into the room, thank you so much for being here. Please go ahead and put in your request for a card. I don't have a huge amount of time today, but I'll get to as many people as I can. Before I get started, I want to remind you all that we are on the countdown to StarCon. That means it is time to get your tickets starcon.com s t a a r c o n.com that's where you'll find lots of information about starcon and that's where you can get your tickets starcon is happening this month oh my gosh january 22nd through 24th it is an online conference all about tarot mysticism We've got runes, we've got Lenormand cards, we've got Kipper, we've got some of the world's foremost authorities on these topics, Mary Kay Greer, Benabel Wen, uh, Tony Pula. We have all kinds of fun stuff, tarot art, tarot performance art. It is a robust online conference. Ticket prices range from $5 right up to $499. So get your ticket now. You do not want to miss out on this. Okay, very good. With all of that said, let us get going. Let us get going with our three card weekly reading. So I'm still using my new deck, Light Sears Tarot. What a great deck. I will tell you though, um, I've got two more decks on the way, new decks. So over these next few weeks, I'll be introducing you to all of the decks I've acquired over the holiday. Now, this week, of course, is the first week of the brand new year, so it's special. And, and this week also includes January 6th, which is the 12th day of Christmas. It's the 12th day of Christmas. And also Epiphany. And Barrett has just dropped the link for StarCon in request to, uh, in response to Katie's request. Katie, thank you for making the request. And Barrett, thank you for being on the spot right there to drop that link for us. We really appreciate it. All right. So, Epiphany, right? January 6th, that's Three Kings Day. It's Epiphany. It's the 12th day of Christmas. And so, during the week of Epiphany, we hope to have lots of Epiphanies. Uh, so, let's see what we got going on here. What are the three cards which express the energy that will be available to us this week. The first card is the Two of Cups. How great is that? So this is all about partnership. It could be about focusing on your romantic partner. It could be about seeking a romantic partner, but it can also be about being a good partner to yourself. It can be about collaborations at work or in any way, shape, or form. So this is all about the healing power of love, how we collaborate with each other, and how we find our partnerships. So this is a really good time as we start the new year to look at who we're collaborating with, who, who we're partnering with, and how we can be a good partner to ourselves. The second card, drum roll please, it is the Knight of Pentacles. So this reminds us that getting to where we're going will take some time. Success does not come overnight, but it suggests that we set our sights on what we want, especially when it comes to work, money, well-being, 
the things that bring us structure and stability. Set our sights on what we want and start moving toward them. It's okay if we don't get our goals right away, as long as we are moving in the right direction. Finally, it's card 13. It's called Death and Rebirth in this deck. It is the dreaded death card, but that is not a bad thing. That is not a bad thing at all because this is a card, and isn't that a cool death card, right? This is a card that speaks of endings and new beginnings, of releasing what does not serve and welcoming change to your life. So this is, you know, for the first week of a new year, this is a wonderful reading. If we put these two cards together, it's about work, it's about love, it's about change, it's about how we move forward, setting ourselves up for a great week and a great year. All right. I'm happy about all that, right? Okay. So now I am scrolling back so I can get to your requests. I will handle as many requests as I can in the time that I have. And I will get to them in the order that I see them. Now, as you're listening to this, if you're listening in archive, or if you're here in the room with me, if as I'm reading for other people, if you hear a message that makes sense to you, that resonates for you, please take it to your heart as a reading for you as well. Okay. So the first request I see is from Leisha. So happy to see you here. You get judgment. Now, this is really about putting closure to the past. It's about hearing the voice of the angels. It's about opening yourself up for awakening. That's a lot to do in one week. But as you look at this card, think about what you're carrying with you that you need to put closure to. And think about how you can more clearly hear the voice of spirit. We'll start with that. Okay. Rachel Perry, so happy to see you. The Page of Swords reversed. This week you want to pay especially close attention to your communication skills, listening and speaking. There will be some impediments to that. It may be hard for you to really hear what people are saying, or it may be hard for you to say what you need to say. So pay special attention this week to communication. Hey, Laurel DePaula, so nice to see you. What do we see for the week ahead for you? The Magician. This is such a great card. This is one of my favorite illustrations of The Magician. This is about getting your tools in order, recognizing what your tools are, what your skills are, what your abilities are. Where do you need to learn? Where do you need to grow? How can you better use those things? This is a good week to pay attention to that. Okay, Katie, I'm happy to see you. Glad that you are here. Katie, Queen of Pentacles reversed. So this week, you need to focus on your self-care, and there's really a sense of getting back to basics this week. You know, what do you have to do to make sure your wardrobe's in order, your finances are in order, your refrigerator is in order? This is a good time this week for self-care and getting things into order to take you forward into the new year. Hey, okay, Karen Winkle, cards for Karen and Christina. Here we go. We're going to start with you, Karen. When we see this week going forward for you, the emperor reversed. I think as you look at a new year, this week you're going to spend some time thinking about the structures in your life, internally and externally, and how you want to work with those structures. Where do you want to be in that hierarchy? Where are you a leader? Where are you an employee? What are the things that you want here? And I think you're going to really start thinking about that. I know you have been thinking about that, but especially this week, it's a good time. 
to think about those things. And for Christina Reed, okay, I shuffled and got exactly the same card for Christina. Emperor reversed once again. I swear to goodness I shuffled. You can't see it because where the camera angle is, but I did. So it's interesting that the two of you got the same card and it may make sense to really talk about that, you know, amongst each other, with, with each other. And really look at, you know, how are you looking at power and structure in your lives? And, you know, there's some interesting things, you know, the emperor can be about the government. And there may be some interesting things going on politically, either nationally or locally or statewide, for the two of you that you are looking at particularly this week. So look at how you're feeling politically. Look at how you're feeling in terms of where do you want to fit in in the structure career-wise? Look at what structures you're creating in your own lives and talk amongst yourselves about this. Okay. Kim Morris, so happy to see you. The three of swords reverse. It looks like you have been going through a difficult time and it looks as though this week you're really going to see some daybreak and find some healing. And that is a beautiful thing. Rocio Marie, so happy to see you. I feel like I haven't seen you in a long time. Hey, you get the lovers reversed. This week, think about how you're relating to other people. Think about your relationships. Think about the choices you're making. And think about the way you are communicating. Those are the important things to kind of put under the microscope this week. Hey, Judy Mnuchin, Happy New Year to you. Glad that you're here. Let's see what we got for you. Oh my goodness. Again, I shuffled and again, it came up the emperor reversed. So same thing for you here, Jeannie. Uh, what are you thinking about as far as the larger political structure, the systems of structure in our world, in our country? What are you thinking about giving structure to your own life? What are you structuring? Take a look at all of that this week. Okay, my good friend Barrett, happy to see you. Hey, you get the magician upright. Barrett, you got the power. Now, and you've just received a new tool in the form of a special certification regarding your job. That's a wonderful thing. So really think about this week, think about your knowledge, think about your skills, think about your tools and how you're going to use them going forward. Claire Wetzler, I am happy to see you. I hope that you are doing well. A card for you. Four of Cups reversed, man. This week it is all about making the best of difficult situations. And that doesn't mean that every situation in your life is difficult, but it does mean that there is some focus right now on some of the things that are going on that are tough, but you are going to find a way forward and you're going to find a way to make the best and do the best you can in those circumstances. Melissa Burkhammer, I'm happy to see you. You get the King of Swords reversed. So if there are any gentlemen in your life who are not honest or not communicative, you want to be really careful in dealing with them or maybe in trying not to deal with them. Beyond that, you need to, you need to work on sort of what is true for you. What is true for you? What is right for you? What is your truth? And how do you go forward with your truth? Kesha Marie, nice to see you. Temperance, what a great card. This week, it's all about finding solutions to problems, finding the right balance, and nurturing your creativity. Those are the things you want to focus on. Teresa Gibson, I'm happy to see you. So this week, we get the Empress reversed. I wonder if there is an issue regarding your mom. Is your mo If your mom is no longer living, it might be that you need to spend some time in spiritual communication with her. If she is living, it may be that you, you might need to be thinking about her or helping her or doing something with her. There is also a question here of your own self-nurturance. What are you going to do this week to take care of yourself? 
Zoe Green, nice to see you. Glad you're here. The Hierophant reversed. Okay, this week, you want to think about how you are an individual and how you don't, I mean, I'm not saying you don't have to follow the rules. Well, I am kind of saying that. Not all the rules. You know, what are the rules that you feel okay about breaking and why? How can you be an individual? How can you let go of dogma that does not serve you? Karen Reinhardt, nice to see you. The nine of wands reversed. You may be feeling a little impatient, wounded, and overwhelmed as you start the new year. There's been a lot going on for you. This week, really try to make space for your healing and for your well-being. If you need to rest, rest and allow yourself to rejuvenate, to recreate, to take time to find healing. Connie Faye Powell, so nice to see you. Hey, you get the Nine of Cups. This is a card of wishes fulfilled. This feels like it could be a good week for you, and then a lot of things could start to go your way, which is a wonderful thing. Hey, Jan Brewington, nice to see you. Happy New Year. The Seven of Cups reversed. So this week, be very careful, you know, in your thinking and in your feeling. You're processing a lot. You're dealing with a lot. Be very careful about holding space for whatever grief, whatever processing you have to go through. On the other hand, don't do more than you have to go through. Try to keep a balance there. Hey, Missy Lynn Maney, nice to see you. Hey, the world. So this could be getting some conclusions and closure to some things that have been difficult for you. It could also be opening up to new opportunities. Either way, this week, remember that you are queen of your domain and you can live in the world the way you want to. Hey, Michelle Flores, so nice to see you. The Ace of Cups reverse. Let's turn that bad boy right around and recognize that this week has got to be about nurturing love, nurturing your heart. And there may be ways that that feels hard. You know, maybe you're not feeling the love around you. Or maybe you're just in a grumpy mood. I don't know. Maybe you're worried there's not enough love happening in the world. But one way or another, if you nurture it in your heart, there will be enough. There will be enough. Oh, Jan, I am so sorry to hear about this loss. Uh, so yeah, taking space for grief is exactly what it's about. And we are all with you. Okay, Vicki Brown, happy to see you. Two of Pentacles reversed. Feels like this is going to be a super busy week, so be careful what you take on. You're really going to have to prioritize what you have time for, what you can do, what you can't do. Varnica, nice to see you. Glad you're here. The Star. This is a good week to embrace healing, to make wishes, to look for the things that are going to fulfill you. This is an extremely positive card. Use this energy to heal and to move yourself forward. Okay, Anita, love it. This is a card for the week going forward. And you also get the Hierophant reversed. So remember at this point in your life, you can do things the way you want to. Be willing to break out of structures. Be willing to be unique. Be willing to try new things. That is how you stand out. That is how you stand head and shoulders above the rest. And pay attention to your own artistic and entrepreneurial assets and aspects. Okay. Brianna Moore, so happy to see you. The Hermit Reversed. It may be that you've been feeling a little lonely. It may be that it's time this week to reach out to the people that you care about. Uh, you know, it's hard in the pandemic to make new friends, to have those sort of normal connections with people. 
Um, but do your best to kind of reach out and connect with your people. Vanessa Hill, happy to see you. You get the page of cups reversed. You know, this week, work on visualizing the things that you would like in your life. Do not be afraid to move toward your goals, even if those goals seem difficult. And most importantly, nurture love this week. Okay, Kathy Morandini, happy to see you. The Seven of Wands reversed. This week, remember who your friends are. Remember that you are not alone, that there are people around you that care about you. Do not be afraid to reach out and connect with them. Pamela Thies, so nice to see you. Glad that you are here. You also get the star. This week, think about the things that you want to manifest this week and this year and work to make them happen. And remember that this is a great time for your healing. Christina, happy to see you. Glad that you are here. The Page of Wands reversed. This week, you may want to be, you know, extra special careful about nurturing your inner child. Uh, be willing to learn something new. Be willing to have some fun. Be willing to do something creative. Jackie Masters, happy to see you. Jackie, you get the tower. And I know you're a terrorist, and I know this is a card we don't always love to see, but you know what? I love this tower. It's got like butterflies and squirrels and all kinds of great stuff going on here. And this is about awakening. It's about enlightenment. You know, there is so much, there's this theme running through this thread today about breaking down the structures that no longer work for us. And I think that's something you need to do in your life too whether those are structures like internal structures, structures of thinking and belief that aren't working for you, or something external. But be open to that process of breaking things down because that will only help you in the end. Kathleen Patricia, I'm so happy to see you. Happy New Year, the wheel. So you know how it is. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, sometimes you're up. But this suggests that you are starting this year on top of things and that you could see some real luck and good fortune come your way this week and this year. Elizabeth, glad to see you. A card for Rich, who is now at a new public store. The Hermit reversed. I feel like he is more surrounded by friends right now and not so much surrounded by people he can't trust. And again, you know, he has to set the tone for leadership but I think it's going to be easier than it has been. Hey, Cassia Neal, a card for you. I am so sorry you're going through a tough time right now, but here is the sun. This helps you to know that even if you're sad now, that sadness can pass just as clouds in front of the sun will pass. It reminds you to find your light, to find the things that make you happy, to find your joy, and it suggests that these things indeed are possible. Hey, Maya, nice to see you. Six of Cups. You know, this may be about spending some time thinking about the past, thinking about old relationships, thinking about connections to people that you haven't seen in a while, opening up to um, how the past does inform the present and the future and how it doesn't. Okay, Sandy Stokey, my friend, nice to see you. A card for this first week of the new year. You also get the Seven of Wands reversed, reminding you that you are not alone, that you have friends, that you have associates, that you have support. Do not be afraid to reach out for support when you need it. Hey, Steffi Oswald, happy to see you. Here's a card for you, the Queen of Cups reversed. You know, this suggests that you are going into this week and maybe this new year not entirely happy with the way things are going. For you, I feel like the, the thing to do is to acknowledge 
what is upsetting for you, what is hurting for you, and then find ways to work with it. Some of you have heard me say the expression, don't let anyone piss in your Cheerios. And I want to say that to you, Steffi. Hey, Kimberly Sanchez, so nice to see you. You get the nine of pentacles reversed. This way I want, this week, I want you to think about issues of security and insecurity. Where do you feel secure? Where do you not feel secure? And what can you do to make it so that you feel secure in every aspect of your life? Jill Pitts, nice to see you. Jill, you get the Ace of Wands reversed. It might be that you're feeling a little tired or uninspired right now, but let's turn that right side up. And this week, you want to look for your energy, look for your inspiration, look for the things that motivate you. Okay. Ayesha, nice to see you. Eight of Swords reversed. This week is going to be about letting go of anxiety thinking about the things that have caused you anxiety and upset and figuring out how to let them go. Lori Hahn, nice to see you. The three of wands reversed. This week, think about your own success. In what way are you feeling successful? In what way are you not feeling successful? What do you have to do to feel more successful? Do you not always believe in your success and the possibility for success? These are things you really want to look at. Okay, folks, it looks to me like I've gotten to the end of my list. I've also gotten to the end of my time. I do want to remind you that I am available for readings uh, by phone, Skype, FaceTime, Messenger, Zoom. Get your New Year reading. This is a great time to have a reading, so get a reading. I also want to remind you it is time to sign up for StarCon. So make sure you go to the StarCon page, S-T-A-A-R-C-O-N dot com, and get your ticket for StarCon. It is happening, with or without you, January 22nd through 24th. We'd love to see you there. Thanks so much. Take good care. Happy Monday. I'll be live on the StarCon page here on Facebook tomorrow with your Starlight Tuesday tip. So make sure you like this video and share this video. Make sure you like this page. Make sure you join me on the StarCon page tomorrow. Thanks so much.